Hello friends, in today's lab, we are going to see how to set up a share folder in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory. Share folder on a network allows many users to access the files and folders. Remember, folder can be shared, but individual files cannot be shared. In Windows Server 2016, the file server role is installed by default, allowing users to share files and folders. There are different ways to create a share folder in Windows Server 2016. But the most efficient way is to use the Server Manager to create a share folder. So in this demonstration, I will show you how to create a share folder by using Server Manager on our domain controller named lab dc01. So first of all, you have to open a Server Manager and in this demo, already I opened the Server Manager and on a Server Manager, you have to click on File and Storage Services. Once you click on file and storage services, you can see there are certain options are there, but on that options, you have to click on shares. You will see the list of share folders on this server. As you can see below, there are two folders named netlogon and syswalt shared by default. And this is because the server is active directory domain controller. And then we have another share named share one, which I create earlier in previous videos. So for this demonstration, we want to create a share folder name research data for our research users group. If you see in uh, Active Directory, we have a group named research users and we have a user named Ken Anderson and that is the member of our group research users. So we want to create a share folder for these users and group. Let's open Windows Explorer on a C drive. Let's create a one folder name research data. Okay. And let's come back on our server manager. On server manager, click on task, select new share. And this will open a new shared wizard. Now here we have a certain profiles to create a share folder. But for this demonstration, I will select first profile and that is assembly share quick. That is suitable for gender file sharing. Click on next. Now here we have to select the path of the folder which we want to share. And let's select type of custom path. Click on browse and let's select the folder which we created earlier, name research data. Select folder and then click on next. Now here you can specify the shared name or you can add shared description. This is the local path to share and this will be the path of share folder. Click on next. Now here we have a certain uh, options like enable access base enumeration. You can also select encrypt data access. But right now, for this demonstration, I'm not going to discuss all these options. In a future videos, we will see what is access based enumeration and why we have to select this box. Right now, let's click on next. And here we have to specify the permission to control access. Now click on customize permissions. And by default, as you can see, all users have a permission to read and execute and as well as have permission like spatial control. So for this demonstration, we want to create a share folder that is only and only accessible by our users from research users group. And uh, for that, I am going to disable the inheritance and select convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object. Now let's remove both users entry and then add our group name research users okay and let's specify the allow permission and that is applies only on this folder now click on swear advanced permission and let's give them a permission to create folders and append data okay let's click on okay let's click on apply and okay click on next and click on create to create a share folder and as you can see the share was successfully created click on close and let's come back on our saw manager and on our saw manager you can see that's a research data if you want to modify the property of the share folder you can by right click on it select property and here's the general information but if you want to modify the permission that time you have to select permissions and from here you can modify the permission as per your requirement here's the settings like we have additional options on a share folder like how to enable access space enumeration or if you want to select encrypted access that time you have to select this checkbox click on ok and that's it let's come back on our c drive and here's this is your folder if you see the property of the share folder now click on sharing tab and as you can see 
the network path of the shared folder is this and if you click on advanced sharing click on permission as you can see everyone have a full control at the sharing level but we are controlling the permission from NTFS permission and there only research users have a permission to perform certain tasks click on close and that's it now our user can access the share folder by typing the UNC path of the share folder so for this demonstration I have another Windows 10 computer and this computer is a part of our domain and on this computer already I log in as our user Canada run let's access the share folder Windows R and let's type the UNC path and the name of our DC that is lab DC01 hit enter and here we go here is our share folder name research data and under that let's create a one folder for our user can and under that let's create a one uh, text file sample this is a sample file click on close and let's save it so as you can see we can access the share folder and we can also create a folder inside the share folder so user can create a folder store data inside the share folder let's come back on our server and uh, if you see under research data we can see the folder which is created by our user Ken Anderson so in this way you can create a share folder on your server and then you can assign a permission to control the access on the share folder that's it for this demonstration hope this video will helpful for you guys thanks for watching this video